Going to the doctor in America sucks. Not only is it incredibly hard to get an appointment, but inevitably you just get passed around from specialist to specialist like a hot potato and no one actually sits down with you and tries to figure out what's actually wrong with you. So why are we still putting up with that when we have technology like large language models today uh, that can do a sort of differential diagnosis that you would normally get from a primary care provider? Today we're going to be redesigning Dr. Gupta, which is essentially a large language model that's designed to act as your primary care provider. You can ask it questions and get a little more information about potential diagnoses and then give it information about your medical history so it gets smarter over time. Really cool idea. There's a couple of problems with the UI. First, it looks like they're using the default material UI, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it comes with that kind of generic feel. There's no unique brand differentiation. We're going to sort that out. I'm also a little overwhelmed by the sidebar here. There's a lot of information jumping out to me at once. And you'll find once you start using this tool that you'll start to suggest articles that might be relevant for your condition, but they appear above medical information here and then push medical information down so you kind of lose track of it. So we're going to need a better way to manage metadata within a given context of a conversation. We're going to change their style guide a bit. Instead of using the default blues, which do have a nice professional tone, <clears throat> we're going to use some nice light greens. Uh, where we still get that professional tone, but you get a little bit of differentiation. You're not looking like every other SaaS app with some kind of blue hue. And then we're going to use Satoshi for the header and body font. I think it's going to do wonders for this UI. And by the way, Dr. Gupta is the brainchild of the notorious Martin Shkreli, aka Pharma Bro. So I'm really playing with fire redesigning this. I hope I don't get sued, but damn it, I can't help myself. Let's get started and see what we come up with. first thing we're doing is moving away from the standard header navigation into a nice cheeky sidebar navigation. The reason I wanted to do this is twofold. First, there was really nowhere to list your previous conversations with Dr. Gupta. You had to just talk in the same window. Now we have a space for that. And secondly, it seemed like the site was confusing two patterns. It was trying to be both a landing page for the product and the product itself. So we're getting away from that by getting rid of this header navigation altogether and moving everything to the left. We're also getting rid of the drop down that was on the left hand side of the header that allowed users to swap between Dr. Gupta and Dr. McGrath, the human and veterinarian options for the platform. And instead, we're just presenting both options to the user and allowing them to switch between them at will. Renaming the chat to exam room is thematically consistent and gives the UI a little bit more brand flair. And then importantly, we're breaking up this sidebar, the doctor's notes section into two different subsections for each piece of information that we want to display to the user, their medical history or their details, and then any recommended articles that we find for them. Not really doing much to change the individual chat messages themselves, but we're adding that nice green brand flair in there to signify that a user has sent the message as opposed to Dr. Gupta. Not really doing much to change the form on the right here with all of the user's medical information. Uh, we're just using slightly lighter text colors so that we're not pulling way too much visual attention to these and then splitting them up into relevant sections based on what sort of information is being provided there. Uh, gonna skip forward a little bit to something a little more interesting. Perhaps this isn't possible with the current implementation of Dr. Gupta, but I found it a little bit strange that you could only ever have one exam room. Now, of course, the human that's talking to Dr. Gupta doesn't really change very often, um, but the context with which I'm having a conversation would. So I would imagine that having a list of rooms makes a lot more sense than just one big room. Uh, so we're just stealing this UI directly from ChatGPT and slapping a really sexy search UI onto it. 
uh, because there's really no need to change that. It's functional as is and it looks good and it's great. One thing I do want to call out here though is that right now this UI looks kind of weird and that's because I'm using black text on top of a colored background. Whenever you're doing that, or whenever you want to display text on top of a background, you'd usually want to use a very dark hue of that same color instead of a black variant that's part of your brand profile. Uh, the reason for that is the text just kind of looks like it's indented into the color as opposed to just splattered on top of the color and it just feels more cohesive so now that I've swapped the color to a very dark hue of that light green um, everything just looks much more natural Now we can take some of those links that were in the header before and put them in the lower right. Uh, this is a more intuitive place for these kinds of links in a standard product interface. And we've also got the user menu in the upper right for any other like setting or account controls that we've missed. And finally, we're adding in a simple little chat interface where you can start to send messages back and forth uh, to Dr. Gupta. Now in the existing UI, there's lots of toggleable controls that change the accuracy of the, of the model being used. Uh, so it took me a while to figure out how to include them in this UI as well. I uh, ended up just floating the control off to the side of the chat control itself and then putting the message number notification just above the control so that users know exactly how many messages they have remaining on their free plan. We got a sexy UI right here, yeah. I really like this one. I think this is a solid interpretation of the user problems that we're trying to solve here. Uh, not only can you see all of your rooms where you're going to various different visits with the doctor, uh, you can search through them or just chat more within any given exam room. You've got all the doctor's notes on the right, medical history, insights, article library. Uh, you can scroll through it at your leisure or just, you know, keep it there for reference as the doctor continues to update things and you're notified as to how many messages you have left before you hit the monthly limit. Uh, finally, you can switch between the human doctor and the animal doctor, Dr. Gupta and Dr. McGrath up here in the upper left without having to hit a drop down or anything. It's just kind of a context switcher. I think this is a much more modern treatment. But yeah, let me know what you think, folks. Uh, do you think this UI solves the user problems better or worse than the existing UI? Is there anything else you would change? Would you use a tool like this? I'm already using it. But hope you found this one useful, folks. Have a great week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.